So hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right in this video I'm reviewing my travel kettle. It's the MIUI travel kettle from Xiaomi. Right, let's get started. So if you watch previous videos you'll know I'm a big fan of travel kettles. I always think it's a good idea to travel with a kettle. Uh, my older one was quite big and bulky and it really, even though it did the job, it was a bit too much. And I wanted something a bit more small and compact and a bit lighter as well. And I found this on AliExpress. Uh, it retails at $14.99 US dollars and that's with free shipping and they shipped about 170 countries in the world. So um, most countries should be able to order this and I don't think at this price many countries will have to pay any customs tax on it. The flask itself is quite lightweight. It weighs about 440 grams. So it's quite lightweight. However, that's without the power cable. So on the front, you've got a power button. You just press this once and it lights up in a blue. And that's basically the flask turn on. It'll start heating. On the back, there's a power plug. It's just basically a standard plug you'd get for a kettle. So even if you lose it on the road or it gets damaged, I'm sure you can pick one up quite easily. On the top, you have this flap. You basically just lift this up. It's rubber. And when you want to use it, you just lift it up and it'll let steam out. When you finish, you just pop that back in and it's a nice tight fit so there's no problems with uh, any leakage that's not going to leak any water I mean you can tip it upside down and no water will come out so that's with the top off as you can see it's basically just a normal flask and to be honest you could use this as your water bottle um, it definitely would dub could double up if you wanted to as your water bottle um, it holds as I say it holds around 500 to 600 milliliters so it's definitely something you could use inside it's stainless steel and there is a, a marker on the side that lets you know where to fill it to so at this point you might be thinking why do we need this what what particular reason do you need a travel kettle for backpacking well i'm going to go through that now so maybe now it starts to make more sense uh, when you're when you're traveling you're always in a place where the hotel is expensive and the, basically the food uh, around it is expensive or maybe you don't have time you know you're on a plane or a train but you've got access to power but you you know you just don't have any food with you or the food that's there is expensive so this little setup i think is a really good way to save some money and also uh, help you on the road so I'll go through the items. This is a collapsible um, water cup. It just basically pushes down and it flattens and when you do it properly. It flattens like that and it takes up a holly in room. So all you gotta do is heat the kettle, put some water in it, pour whatever you're making, coffee or your noodles in there and you've got a cheap meal that's gonna save you a lot of money and time. So it takes about five minutes to boil the water. That's when it's full. Um, it's very easy to do you just literally fill it with water pull the plow put the power in press that button um, you'll see it start you can feel it start to heat up and then four or five minutes later the water's done fantastic little thing i have to say the build quality is absolutely amazing on this uh, xiaomi really did a really good job with this obviously i've not used it on the road yet but i have used it at home and it, it does do the job and it feels quite robust so as you can see i've got it all plugged in i've had to use a travel adapter obviously because i'm in the uk um, just plugged it in uh, obviously it's just plugged into the back there and I also filled it up to the maximum this is the maximum amount you can see you probably can't see on here but there's a maximum line there so you can't quite fill it up to the top so as you can see I've uh, tightened the lid on make sure it's nice and tight I've just pulled the little flappy thing out so the steam can come out right let's turn it on so power on and find the power switch and now for the resistance you just uh, press that and you can see the blue light comes on and now we just have to wait about five minutes. And there you can see now the steam's gone, starting to come out the top. It's actually, that's it, that's it, it's boiled. So now I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, you can see the auto, the auto uh, turn off just did it for me. So it's turned itself off. Fantastic little product, really is good. So that's it. Now, obviously, just bear in mind that this could be quite hot. That's obviously probably why they made it rubber. Um, but, you know, this is boiling hot and I can still manage to push it down. There is a little bit of water coming out the top, but I did boil it at a maximum. So maybe that's why it's, uh, it's a little bit of leakage. So there you have it. Nice boiling hot water, guys. What you got to do now is add something like coffee or noodles. One of the only things I don't like about this particular product is this. I've now finished with it and obviously I'm going to put the power cable back in, but it's still wet. So one of the things I do recommend is make sure you dry it completely out. It is a bit annoying. Um, obviously I will travel with a microfiber towel, so I'll probably have to use that. Just make sure that there's no excess water because obviously if you, if you, you know, fill it up now, 
put that in it um, and then obviously seal the lid it's a sealed damp environment and you might not use this every day you might go weeks without using it um just depends on who person you are so i would definitely recommend drying that out thoroughly before you use it again, before you pack it away so that's it for this video guys let me know what you think in the comments do you think having a travel kettle is worth it um hope you enjoyed the video please remember to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button and i'll see you next time